Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here to unbox a uh, boys box 10 to 14, uh, and this one has a soccer ball. So let's open up the box. I was packing four boxes. I have to just tell you a quick little story. Um, on my dining room table, and for three days, I've been working on those four boxes. And I got one done, this is the second one I've got done, and I've got the other two that are half done. That's way too long <laughs> to work on a box. And I figured out today, because I got this one finally done, I was able to concentrate. And it's because in the background, my TV has been on, my family room, it's like an open concept. So my dog sleeps better, naps better, <laughs> if there's a show on. But today I did not have a show on and my mind could focus so much more. So that's just a little tip to help you concentrate, at least if your mind works like mine. Um, you need quiet and it's very helpful. Here's my list. Again, you can get this. I'll put a, a link to a Google document. My daughter helped me with that below in the description. And um, it really helps me stay organized, although this time I was scatterbrained about it. But um, that also is on, there's a, another list that Michelle uses. Believe it or not, we both used lists before we met. And her list is on blessingsinashoebox.com. You can get so much great information there. And it's in the first section that says helpful information. Click on that and you'll find her documents for her um, lists. And, and see, everybody's brain works differently. I'm going to still keep working on improving mine because it's not perfect. Um, so take a look at hers and check out the, the website. And here's the box. That took longer than I expected to tell you that. Okay, so we've got blue and purple going on. Um, there's also an orange, uh, a pop of orange in here. But this is the notebook here with the uh, contact paper chalkboard on, on it. And I just decided to, I put a star so he would understand um, how to use it. And here's the pencil pouch. Ooh, and here's the comb, purple comb. And this also has kind of an ocean theme, even though it's a soccer ball. I coordinated the orca, which is black and white, with the soccer ball that's black and white. So I have this. These are available at Dollar Tree. At least they're available at mine. And they teach you, look at how to draw these animals in here, step by step. I love this for the older kids. Okay, they have lots of different um, styles. This is the orca. And so that's where the black and white came in and the ocean came in um, to match the soccer ball. And I've been putting my sunglasses in socks. So here's a pair of socks. And here are the sunglasses. I got these at the Gap Outlet. They had them for $1.99. So I bought a whole lot of them when I went yesterday because these are AV, AV, UV, <laughs> that's what it is. UVA and UVB protection for 100% of that. So I love that. And for soccer, um, I thought it goes really well with the outdoor theme of soccer. Here's the pump. Now this one is the smallest one I found but I do need to add some more needles and I haven't been able to find those. I can't remember where I put them, but I have that on my note. And so that's another benefit from having this, this list here is I need to get needles and I'll remind myself before I turn it in. This is from Harbor Freight. It's a 10 foot measuring tape. So they could use it in place of a ruler for school to measure things. And it's just really fun for the boys boxes. Uh, orange highlighter, a calculator. I am really working hard to put a calculator in all my older boxes. It's a solar calculator, so they won't need batteries. This is a fun uh, pen with a globe on the top. I love that. This has turned out to be a really fun box, although it was hard to get everything to fit. Uh, four pencils ready to go. This is the toothbrush with the toothbrush uh, cover. Got a hundred of those on Amazon for a really good deal. Let me know in the comments if you want a link to anything that I mentioned. This is just a red, blue, and black ink pens. Here's a Sharpie so he can put his name on his ball. Uh, these two 
soap containers fit. I love it that they fit like this in the box. This is, they're not both, they don't both have soap. This one does though. Has soap, ivory soap, and has a cross carabiner on the top. A little fish. One of the, these are those rubber minis that I love to go. It's the pop of orange, a sun eraser, some more pencil top erasers, a shell eraser, and his nail clippers are in here. So you can use up all that extra space in your soap dishes, soap boxes. And here's the other soap box, but this one has the eraser and the chalk in it. it has um, a dolphin pencil sharpener, his lip balm. I got that in bulk from Amazon too. This is another mini um, beluga whale. I think that's what that's called. And some pencil top erasers in here. And here's a, well, I'll get the colored pencils out. I like the mini ones because they can fit in. They don't take up as much room. So art is not definitely the theme, but there's some art supplies in this box. Here's the scissors. Have all the school supplies in here, purple and orange and blue. And then it is amazing what you can get in a water bottle. Here's his water bottle. And when I was running out of room in the box, I went and put this bandana in the water bottle. I was surprised I could still get it to fit. This has um, sharks on it. It's one of those tubular bandanas, nice and bright. Here's another little pencil sharpener, paper clips. I put a couple of figures in here. This is a dolphin figure for him to play with. This is a panda eraser and it goes with the black black and white theme of the ball. This is a seal going with the ocean theme. And a big pink eraser. Sometimes they need to reuse their paper because they run out and so they have to erase um, a whole page at a time. And so this is, that's why they need a lot of erasers. This is just a little blue highlighter. That does not want to stay up for me. This is a glue stick. This is a big washcloth. I love these washcloths that I got on Amazon. Super, super soft and nice and big. These are like a minky fabric with a scalloped edge and they wash up really well time time and time and time again according to the reviews. There's more in here. Uh, this is a blue whistle on a string and that's it in the water bottle. Okay here's a I loved uh, this black and white twine. Uh, they can use twine for a lot of different things and it's black and white so it matches the theme and there is a 45 meters on here so I think he will probably find that useful. Those were closed out on hauler last year at the end of the season and I bought up a lot of them. These flashlights I love. If you haven't seen these before they turn on they're very bright LED they don't require batteries. You power them up by squeezing the handle and it make, causes the light to work. So I love that. Nice and small too, so it fits in a shoebox easily. And it's blue. And here's the soccer ball champion. It's called Retro and it's a size three. I went with the three all for all my Besides the little one, toddler ones, but I went with the three for all my four, uh, older boy boxes specifically because then I could fit more things in the box. And last but not least is this wonderful string backpack that has a soccer print pocket. It's denim. Michelle made these for me and it just 
is really going to be a blessing for this boy to be able to carry all of his things. All of these backpacks are unique. Uh, this snap is a really strong snap for the pocket. And he can divide his items up between the outside pocket and the inside. And I just love these string backpacks because they can fold up so small. So thank you guys for watching. I see the mail lady is here knocking on my door. Um, I really love the idea of packing soccer balls for these children. Um, we want them to know the love of God is the ultimate reason we're sending these boxes. And um, certainly if they open a box and they find something that they really love, that a stranger sent, they can understand the love of God um, better in their hearts. And so I want all of these boxes to go to children who have just felt the burden of their sin and are ready to receive the gospel. They want to know what happens when they die. So I'm praying very specifically those things that the children would be prepared to receive these boxes and that the Lord would be working in their hearts already, causing them to have a just a, a, a desire to have their sins forgiven. That's, that's the process that I went through as a little girl, that I wanted to know who God was. I wanted to know how I could get to heaven when I died. I wanted to know how my sins could be forgiven. And um, those things... If a child finds the answers to those things, there's only one answer, and that's um, through Jesus Christ as their Savior. They will be ready and uh, willing when they get their shoeboxes and they hear the gospel to um, receive that free gift from Jesus. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope that you're able to concentrate when you are making your boxes, and God bless you in your packing and your shopping. And bye for now.